Ever wondered how high cholesterol affects your health and what you can do about it? It's a question many of us have pondered. High cholesterol can lead to a myriad of health issues, including heart disease, the leading cause of death globally. It's important to understand the role cholesterol plays in our bodies and how we can manage it through our diet. In today's video, we'll delve deep into the world of cholesterol. We'll explore its impacts on our health and discuss the best foods to incorporate into your diet if you're looking to manage high cholesterol. This isn't just about cutting out the bad stuff, it's about embracing the good. From hearty whole grains to omega-rich fatty fish, we'll be revealing the top food heroes in the fight against high cholesterol. So, are you ready to take control of your health? Stay tuned as we unveil the top foods that can help manage your cholesterol levels. But first, what is cholesterol and why should we care? Cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance that's found in all cells of our body. It's not inherently bad. In fact, our bodies need some cholesterol to make hormones, vitamin D, and substances that help us digest foods. But when you have too much cholesterol in your blood, it can be a problem. This is where the terms good and bad cholesterol come into play. The good guy in this story is high-density lipoprotein, or HDL. It carries cholesterol from other parts of your body back to your liver, which removes it from your body. On the other hand, low-density lipoprotein, or LDL, is the villain. It carries cholesterol to your arteries, where it can collect and form plaque, leading to heart disease and stroke. The balance between HDL and LDL is what's crucial for maintaining a healthy body. Now that we know why cholesterol matters, let's dive into the foods that can help control it. Our first cholesterol-fighting food is oats and whole grains. Now you might be wondering, why oats and whole grains? Well, the answer lies in their high fiber content, specifically a type of soluble fiber called beta-glucan. This amazing nutrient forms a gel-like substance in your gut, which can bind to excess LDL cholesterol and help excrete it from your body. And it's not just oats. Other whole grains like barley and whole wheat are also rich in this health-boosting fiber. Including these grains in your diet can help regulate your cholesterol levels and promote heart health. But the benefits don't stop there. Oats and whole grains are also packed with essential vitamins and minerals, providing a well-rounded nutritional profile that supports overall health. So, the next time you're deciding what to have for breakfast, remember the power of that humble bowl of oatmeal. So, don't skip that bowl of oatmeal in the morning. Next on our list is fatty fish. An incredible source of omega-3 fatty acids, fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and tuna play a vital role in improving heart health. Omega-3 fatty acids are a type of unsaturated fat that is not only good for your heart but also essential for your body. They work in a fascinating way, increasing the level of HDL cholesterol, also known as the good cholesterol, in your body. But that's not all. These fatty acids have an anti-inflammatory effect. Inflammation is often linked with higher risks of heart disease, so by lowering inflammation, omega-3 fatty acids help reduce the risk of heart-related ailments. From grilled salmon for dinner to a tuna sandwich for lunch, there are many delicious ways to include fatty fish in your meals. You can also consider fish oil supplements if you're not a big fan of fish. Remember, a diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids is not just tasty, but also heart healthy. Including fatty fish in your diet can be a heart healthy choice. Let's not forget about nuts and seeds. These little gems are packed with heart healthy fats, fiber and protein, all of which play a crucial role in maintaining healthy cholesterol levels. Almonds, walnuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, you name it, they all have a place in a heart-friendly diet. The monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats found in nuts and seeds can help lower your bad cholesterol levels while maintaining your good cholesterol. This is important because an imbalance of these cholesterol types can lead to heart disease. Moreover, the abundance of fiber in these foods can aid in reducing cholesterol absorption in your bloodstream. Fiber makes you feel full, which can help curb overeating, a contributor to high cholesterol. And let's not forget the protein. It's not just for muscle building. Protein also helps control your appetite and can contribute to weight management, another key aspect of controlling cholesterol levels. So next time you're feeling peckish, add a handful of nuts or seeds to your diet for a cholesterol-lowering snack. Avocados are more than just a tasty trend. This green delight is often associated with luxurious brunches, but there's much more to it than its creamy texture and delicious flavor. Avocados are a powerhouse of essential nutrients, particularly monounsaturated fats and fiber. Now you might be wondering, how can fats be good for managing cholesterol? Well, not all fats are created equal. 
Unlike the saturated fats found in fast foods and processed snacks, monounsaturated fats are heart-friendly. They can help lower levels of low-density lipoprotein, often dubbed as bad cholesterol, while increasing high-density lipoprotein, the good cholesterol. But that's not all. Avocados are also rich in dietary fiber. This aids digestion, keeps you feeling full longer, and importantly, it helps regulate cholesterol levels. So, next time you scoop out that luscious green flesh onto your toast or whip up a bowl of guacamole, remember that you're not just indulging in a culinary delight. You're also taking a step towards heart health. So, keep enjoying your guacamole, it's good for your heart. Last but not least, let's talk about olive oil. Now, this is a staple you'll want to keep in your kitchen. Olive oil is brimming with heart-healthy monounsaturated fats, the good kind that we all need. These fats are your allies against high cholesterol. They work their magic by lowering levels of LDL cholesterol, often referred to as the bad cholesterol. But that's not all. These monounsaturated fats also help to maintain levels of HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol. It's a dual action that makes olive oil a powerful tool in your cholesterol management strategy. Moreover, olive oil is known for its anti-inflammatory properties, and it's been linked to improved heart health. It's a simple switch that can make a big difference. So the next time you're preparing a salad or cooking a meal, reach for the olive oil. Remember to drizzle some olive oil on your salad for a cholesterol-friendly meal. Let's recap what we've learned today. We've journeyed through a trove of knowledge about foods that are not only delicious, but can also help us manage our cholesterol levels effectively. We started with oats and whole grains, the breakfast champions. They are packed with soluble fiber, which helps reduce the amount of cholesterol that gets absorbed into your bloodstream, making them a great way to kickstart your day. Next, we dived into the world of fatty fish. Salmon, mackerel, albacore tuna, and other fatty fish are rich in omega-3 fatty acids which are known to lower bad cholesterol levels and increase good cholesterol. Incorporating two servings of fatty fish into your weekly meal plan could be a game-changer for your heart health. Then, we explored the realm of nuts and seeds. Almonds, walnuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, and more are all powerhouses of healthy fats and fiber. Not only do they help lower bad cholesterol, but they also provide us with energy and keep us feeling full longer. We also looked at avocados, those creamy, delicious fruits that are a great source of monounsaturated fats. These fats can help lower bad cholesterol levels and raise good cholesterol levels. Adding avocados to salads, sandwiches, or even enjoying them on their own can be a tasty way to manage your cholesterol. Finally, we discussed olive oil, one of the best sources of heart-healthy monounsaturated fats. Swapping out butter or margarine for olive oil in your cooking could make a significant difference in your cholesterol levels. Incorporating these foods into your daily diet can not only help manage your cholesterol levels, but can also contribute to overall heart health. It's important to remember that while diet plays a significant role, it is just one piece of the puzzle. Regular exercise, maintaining a healthy weight, and regular checkups with your doctor are also crucial in managing your cholesterol levels. Remember, managing your cholesterol levels is a step towards a healthier heart and a healthier you.